Hi, I'm Keldrick Wright. I'm Tara Benigno. I'm Anthony DeSalas. I'm Dimitri Sparks. And I'm CJ Prince, and we are the very proud board of North Jersey Pride. So, as you all know by now, we had to cancel what would have been our 10th annual festival in Memorial Park this year. We took a few days to be depressed about that, and then we decided not to let COVID cancel our pride. Instead, we put together this incredible show for you full of songs, inspirational speakers, and global talent. And we hope it will take your mind off the fact that you haven't left your house in 98 days. We also have a few suggestions for how to make this virtual pride celebration look and feel as much as possible like our annual Pride in the Park. First, turn off your central air, window AC units and fans, and crank the heat way, way up. Next, see if you can find a humidifier, like the ones you use when kids are sick, and blast that baby. You know, put some lawn chairs out in the living room or sit on the floor. Uh, make sure to sit as close as humanly possible to family members and invite your sweaty kids to sit in your lap, of course. <laughs> You're going to want to keep any alcoholic beverages in unidentifiable, unidentifiable cups or drink them from paper cups uh, or paper bags. Next, you're going to want to find some inflatables in your home, a uh, pool toy, an exercise ball, or a donut pillow. And you're going to want to tell your kids that they can play on it so long as they don't bother you for the rest of the day. <laughs> And finally, if it's sunny out, you should, at some point in the show, take your viewing device outside and hold it up above you so you're looking directly into the sun for several minutes. Because as we like to say, if you're not squinting, it's not pride. And if it starts to rain, even better, get out your rainbow umbrella and party. And to be serious for just a moment, we have a pretty big win to celebrate this year. Thanks to the Supreme Court's recent ruling, LGBTQ people can no longer be fired from their jobs simply because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. And that is huge. Ooh. Yet at the same time, many challenges remain. The systemic racism built into our larger society that endangers the lives of black and brown people every single day is also evident in our own community. The cisgender queer white community has been complacent for far too long. It is well past the time for those of us who are white and LGBTQ to recognize our own privilege and our implicit bias and commit to being active allies for our brothers and sisters of color. We must do the same for our transgender siblings who are consistently and disproportionately the targets of violence by cisgender haters. The modern queer liberation movement was forged by black and brown transgender activists through protests, beginning with the bravery of Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, who led the Stonewall Uprising 50 years ago. North Jersey Pride is committed to centering and amplifying the voices of those who have been marginalized in the LGBTQ plus community. We understand that there can be no pride without justice. We are currently collaborating with a group of New Jersey LGBTQ organizations to address issues of racial injustice in our community. And we hope you'll be part of future events that seek to explore intersectionality and how, <clears throat> excuse me, allies can do better. Please sign up for our newsletter at NorthJerseyPride.org to find out about future events and just to stay up on the latest. Now we invite you to sit back and enjoy North Jersey Pride Stream, the home edition. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Happy, Happy Pride. Pride. Happy Pride. Hey, everybody. It's Scott Nevins. I'm so excited to be here hosting North Jersey Pride Stream all the way from Palm Springs, California. I am sad that we can't be together like we are every year in Maplewood in that beautiful park. I miss all your faces, I miss the food, I miss the vendors, I miss all that free swag we get, all that rainbow Purell gel. We could use some hand sanitizer right now. But um, this is going to be just as amazing, I promise you. You know, I was, I was devastated when I heard that North Jersey Pride was thinking of maybe not doing an event for Pride or maybe postponing it to the fall and I thought, no, 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 no. I called them and I said, I have an idea. And so we decided to join forces and I am thrilled to co-produce and host North Jersey Pride Stream. And I promise you, 
We have quite a show for you, packed with more celebrities, singers, politicians, activists. I mean, there are more people in the show than we could have ever fit on the stage. So sit back, relax. We have an amazing, amazing lineup for you. And to kick it off, here's someone to sing a song made famous by a very famous Jersey girl. Please welcome Allie Caldwell. Thank you so much, Scott, for that amazing introduction. I am so excited to be here to celebrate with you guys for Pride. Happy Pride, you guys. And I'm so excited to be here with my family, with these guys, these amazing musicians behind me. We came together to celebrate with you guys and give you the best vibes. So here we go. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues
so much, Scott, for having me, and happy Pride to all of you out there, and um, take care of yourselves. <laughs>what's up north jersey pride is parson james here again this time through the screen and not actually with you guys uh pride is incredibly different this year as you all know with everything going on in the world uh, many people are feeling the effects of the craziness i myself being a gay man of color am truly feeling it so i know that the one thing that lifts my spirits is music so i hope that you guys enjoy this song i prepared for you and uh i hope that you can feel a sense of unity and hope and uh, know that we're going to get out on the other side so, this is still the show. Mm-hmm. Darling, darling, I'll turn the lights back on now. We're watching, watching as the credits all roll down. And crying, crying You know we're playing to a full house House No heroes, villains, one to blame We'll tear it, roses, fill the stage And the thrill, the thrill is gone Our debut was a masterpiece But in the end for you and me and all the show can't go on 
We used to have it all, but now's our curtain call. So hold for the applause. Oh, 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 oh. And wave out to the crowd and take our final bow. Cause it's our time to go. But at least we stole the show. 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 I said, at least we stole the show. Darling, darling, you know that we are sold out and kisses fading. Yeah, the band plays on now and we're crying, crying. So let that velvet roll down. Oh, down. No heroes, villains, one to blame. We'll see it, roses fill the stage and the thrill. The thrill is gone Our debut was a masterpiece Lines we read so perfectly But the show, it can't go on We used to have it all But now's our curtain call So hold for the applause Oh, 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 oh and wave out to the crowd and take our final bow cause it's our time to go but at least we stole the show 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 I said at least we stole We used to have it all, but now's our curtain call. So hold for the applause, no, no, no. And wave out to the crowd, take our final bow. Cause it's our time to go, but at least we stole the show. Thank you, North Jersey. Love you. Happy Pride. Hey, New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy here to wish you all a very happy Pride Month. Each June, we celebrate the incredible contributions of our LGBTQ plus community. From the military to business, sports and the arts, there is not one facet of society that has not been made better and richer by the presence and inclusion of members of the LGBTQ plus community. Pride may look different this year and feel bittersweet as some of our beloved friends and allies are newly missing from our lives, but we are grateful for every memory we have of them. I want to take this opportunity to encourage more New Jerseyans to get tested. It is vitally important that we know how COVID-19 has impacted every community. This year, we may not be able to take part in the parades and parties, but the spirit of pride goes far beyond these traditions. This month stands as an important reminder of how far we have come and how hard we have had to fight to get here. And our LGBTQ plus brothers and sisters are valued members of our New Jersey family. They are our loved ones, our friends, our neighbors. And together we have made great strides in making New Jersey a beacon of inclusion and a model of diversity for our entire nation. So long as I am governor and I hope for long after, New Jersey will remain a place where everyone is given equal protection under the law. Everyone is a valued member of our family and everyone is not just welcomed, but celebrated. These are the values that all New Jerseyans share. Let's use today, this Pride Month and every day in the future to remind us that New Jersey refuses to step backward. We will only move forward and we will do it together. God bless you all. Happy Pride Month. Thank you, Governor Murphy, for those kind words about pride and about our community as a whole. We appreciate your support. Uh, coming up now, we have another incredible singer. I've actually known this young lady for many, many years. She's a dear friend and 
She lives in Maplewood, New Jersey. Usually when I go and host North Jersey Pride, I get to see her and her beautiful family. But even better, you guys get to see her and you get to hear her incredible voice. Uh, many of you have probably seen her on Broadway or on TV and in films. Uh, she has performed with everyone from Taylor Swift to Bette Midler. She is incredible. Please welcome my good friend and Maplewood, New Jersey resident, Shayna Steele. Thanks, Scott. Hey, how's it going? Happy Pride, everybody. Love you. In your eyes and I can see In love so dangerously And you're not trusting your heart to anyone You tell me you're gonna play it smart We're through before we start And I believe that we've only just begun when it's as good, there's no saying no. I want you so I'm ready to go. Through the fire, to the limit, to the wall. For a chance to be with you, I gladly. chance to be with you I take it all away right down to the wire even through the fire Ooh. I know you're afraid of what you feel you still need time to heal and I can help if you only let me try. You touch me and something in me know what I would have with you. And I'm not ready to kiss a dream goodbye. When it's this good, there's no saying no. I want you so. I'm ready to go oh, through the fire, to the limit, to the wall. For a chance to be with you, I gladly risk it all. Through the fire, through whatever come one day. For a chance I love you, I take it.
Hey everybody, it's Meg Dewey here, Happy Pride. I'm gonna play a song called Gasoline for you. It's off of my new record, Butch. So I hope you enjoy it. She's a saint, I'm a sinner. Cranking up cash on the radio. She doesn't wear enough jeans in the flannel shirt. She's always reserved, but she's a big old flirt. She loves classic rock, the whiskey neat. She's part smoky eye and she's part sweet. She don't need no fantasy sweet. Cause I may be her fire, she's my gasoline. Hey, New York Jersey Pride, it's B Miller. Um, I'm sorry that we can't all be together this year celebrating in person, but obviously it's important that we keep everybody safe, keep our community safe. Um, but it's all right, because I celebrate Pride all year round, and uh, I hope you've been enjoying your Pride Month this year, and make sure that you vote in November. Much love. Hey, everybody. Happy Pride. It's Mayor Frank McGee from the Township of Maplewood. I just want to take a second to read our proclamation in honor of Pride Month. Whereas Maplewood is a diverse and inclusive community in which our residents take great pride in our diversity and believe in the safety, prosperity, equality, and hope for all who live and work in our town. And whereas the people of Maplewood recognize the human rights of all citizens and support the end to all forms of prejudice and discrimination. And whereas lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender residents have made an important and continue to make important contributions to the history and quality of life in Maplewood. And whereas the Township Committee of the Township of Maplewood 
remains committed to promoting equality and fostering a welcoming and supportive environment for all. And whereas we cannot forget our LGBTQ individuals and families across the United States who continue to face significant oppression and discrimination. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Frank McGeehee, on behalf of the Township Committee of Maplewood, do hereby proclaim the month of June 2020 as LGBTQ Pride Month. Thank you so much. Happy Pride. One of the coolest parts about North Jersey Pride, in my opinion, is the fact that you guys have that amazing section just for kids. I always love coming to Maplewood and I love seeing all of the families and I love seeing all of the kids celebrating Pride. I'm always jealous that they get to go in the bouncy castle and get their face painted and have a snow cone. But since we can't do any of that today, we thought we could instead create a little section for the little ones here in our Pride stream. So if your kids are running around right now screaming and acting like crazy people, tell them to stop and tell them to come over here and watch. If you're watching this on a tablet, you know you'll have no problem getting them to look. You know, uh, we wanted to make sure we had something for them to be able to celebrate Pride and also to send them some positive messages during this time. And I'm so excited because our first guest star is a good friend of mine. And actually your kids will probably know him from his hit Disney show, Johnny and the Sprites. Or maybe they're watching Apple's new Fraggle Rock. And of course, maybe you adults know him from his Tony Award nominated performance in the hit Broadway musical, Avenue Q. He's one of the greatest guys in the world and I adore him so much. So please welcome my buddy, John Tartaglia. Thanks, Scott. Hey everybody, it's John Tartaglia. As a born and bred New Jersey boy, I am so incredibly proud to be part of this Pride celebration. You know, to me, Pride is a special time of year to celebrate all the beautiful and unique things that make you, you. And uh, every now and then it's easy to forget that we have a lot to celebrate about ourselves. Um, I have a special furry friend named Carl who's gonna sing a song for you. You might know it, please feel free to sing along. Um, and just remember to celebrate the wonder that is you. Take it away, Carl. Happy Pride, everybody. Hi everyone, I'm Carl. Thanks for letting me share. <clears throat> it's not that easy being green. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. Yeah. When I think it could be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. Oh! Well, they got a horn section. This is very fancy. Nice. It's not that easy being green. It seems you blend in with so many other ordinary things. <sighs> yeah. And, and people tend to pass you over because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles in the water or stars in the sky. Yeah, but you know what? Well, well green's the color of spring. Yeah! Huh. And green can be cool and friendly like. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Hey, you know what? And green can be big like a mountain or important like a river or tall like a tree. Hey, you know what? When green is all there is to be It can make you wonder why But I wonder, I wonder I'm green and it'll do fine It's beautiful, huh And I think it's what I want to be Yeah, yeah I do Happy Pride, everyone! Yeah! Wow, that was a nice orchestra. We're very fancy here. Wow, high-class stuff! Bye! The World Needs Your Voice by Peter H. Reynolds in Orchard Books. The World Needs Your Voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead, 
It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it grow. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. If you are angry, say something to help people understand. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. So when you're ready, say something. You know, I'm always so humbled to introduce our next guest star. I've had the pleasure of meeting and working with her several times over the years, and I'm always in awe of her strength and her grace and her ability to turn a personal tragedy into a global teaching phenomenon about acceptance. I'm of course talking about the great Judy Shepard, the mother of Matthew Shepard, who was a young gay boy in Laramie, Wyoming, who was tied to a fence, beaten, and left to die in 1998. His death sparked a global conversation about LGBTQ rights and protections. And instead of receding into the backdrop, justifiably mourning the loss of her son, Judy instead chose to step into the spotlight and use her voice and Matthew's life as a way to teach others about acceptance and love and protection of the LGBTQ community. I love her so much and I'm so happy that she's part of our live stream today with a special message for all of you and she's going to help us introduce our next guest performer. So please help me welcome one of my favorite people, Judy Shepard. Thank you, Scott, and welcome to North Jersey Pride. It's such an honor to be a part of your celebration. I wish it was in person. I'm going to miss getting hugs from all of you. I'd also like to remind you that this is an election year, in case that has escaped any of you, and that we have a vital role to play. All of us do. One person can do so much. One vote counts for so much. So I want you all to be sure you're registered to vote, to actually go to the polls and vote, or mail in your ballot, or vote absentee, and make sure all your friends are doing the same. This is a really important, critical election. You know that. And now I'd like to introduce Randy Driscoll and her beautiful song, What Matters, that she wrote with Matt in mind. And thank you again for inviting me to your celebration. Thank you. Yeah. 
PNC Bank is proud to support North Jersey Pride and equally proud to support financial achievement here in Maplewood. Find out more and visit pncvirtualwallet.com. PNC, for the achiever in you. PNC Bank National Association member FDIC. So much and happy pride everybody my name is Karen Thompson I'm a senior staff attorney at the ACLU of New Jersey um, I'm a black dyke I am so thrilled I am so thrilled to be bringing um, pride greetings from the ACLU what a time to be doing this we've been around for 60 years we've been around fighting for civil liberties and um, civil rights for all people in New Jersey at the state local and county levels but this year has been quite the year. As you know, we are standing um, in the middle of Pride, uh, which itself was a response to police brutality, a response um, that was waged with uh, Marsha Johnson throwing a brick, with Stormy DeValerie of Black Dyke um, throwing a punch. And all of that was about brutality, which we are seeing once again, yet another time, we are watching another wave of anger, of um, revolution and uprising on the same topics. And I'm recording this on Juneteenth, um, a day when free people were only told about their freedom. So we're standing at this very intense crossroads and I hope that we can keep that spirit in our heart as we move about this very momentous month. Um, and to that end, the ACLU of New Jersey has three things that we're hoping that you might help us do this pride. And that requires you putting pressure and calling your legislators to ensure that the police misconduct, that the abuses, that the violence can be checked, that we have tools that will allow us to address all of these issues. And we know there's no silver bullet. 
This stuff has been around, misogyny, transphobia, racism have been around for hundreds of years and we're not gonna end it in one. But what we do have is tools. We have ways to blaze the path, to fix these things, to address these things by reimagining police. And we can move the needle and we can keep that needle where it is in a forward position. So here are the three things really quickly. One, police transparency. We need to have records and know about what is going on in police departments. Because right now, they're operating in utter secrecy. We need to know when they misbehave. Second, we need our legislators to give civilian complaint review boards, that is the power of the people and our communities, we need them to have the power to investigate and to hold police accountable. It's simple, but they don't have that power. We need this legislature to give it to them. Lastly, the third thing, qualified immunity. Right now, there's a legal precept that allows police who are found accountable, where we can show that they've done things that are not acceptable, we can't do anything even when we bring them in court because they have this immunity. No more, that needs to come to an end. So can you, this pride, as we sit at that, that place where all of these currents are meeting, where all of this revolution is um, exploding, can we use this tiny tool, these three things to push forward with that reform? Call your legislator, put some pressure on them and make this pride an act of one. Have a great one. Have a socially distanced one, just physically, not in your heart, but have a wonderful, wonderful pride. Yay! I wanna wish everybody a happy pride. Uh, stay strong, stay safe. Uh, the song I'll be singing is Read All About It, Emily Sandy. Hope you love it.
We're really glad to be here celebrating North Jersey Pride. The LGBT Rain Foundation exists as a safe space for homeless individuals between 18 and 26. We open our doors to love and acceptance and close them to anything that is the opposite of that. We know we're going through really hard times, but we must continue to do the diligent work to stomp out racism and violence against people of color and against trans people of color especially. We know it's hard, and at times like this, it feels overwhelming, but we can do it together. And if you want to know where to start with that, do not support stores and businesses that discriminate, especially against our transgender people of color community. Do not support stores that discriminate against not only people of color, but LGBTQ community. Because if you read up, we're a big part of this economy. And it's important that we do not support those who do not support us. So we know this is hard work, but we can do it together. Yeah. Happy Pride! Happy, Happy Pride. Pride! Happy Pride! Hi, everybody. My name is Gary Paul Wright, and I'm the executive director of the African American Office of Gay Concerns. Uh, I want to thank CJ Prince for allowing me to participate in this virtual event, this virtual Pride, so to speak. Uh, we've worked with North Jersey Pride ever since they started. Um, we love the festival, we love the park, we love the people, we love the food, uh, and we just love being face-to-face -face with people and, and explaining to them what we do. Now, a lot of people still don't know what we do, uh, and I'm going to tell you, we're basically an HIV prevention organization. We're a community-based organization serving the LGBTQ community, uh, and we've been around for about 20 years. Uh, we're proud of our track record, um, but I got to tell you, sometimes we feel like the gay community as a whole has kind of forgotten about HIV, uh, that there was an epidemic uh, uh, for everybody for quite a while, and now it's an epidemic within the black gay community, uh, and especially with transgender women of color. Um, there's also rising numbers in the Latino communities right now, so uh, it's still important that ag agencies like mine are still around. Uh, but we do need your support. Uh, for instance, um, World AIDS Day, December 1st, we stand in front of City Hall, the steps of City Hall, and we uh, remember those who have gone on before us. Um, but we don't get a lot of people come standing with us. Uh, sometimes we've had as many as like maybe 30 to 40 people, but we'd love to see a whole lot more. So we want y'all to be proud uh, 365 days of the year. So, um, you know, there are things happening not just during June, um, so hook up with us, you know, find out what we're all about, come see us, come stand with us on World AIDS Day.
Cause ain't nobody checking me Happy Pride, everyone. It's me, love. And I want to wish my friends at New York Jersey Pride a congratulations on another year of awesome work in the community. I look forward to working with you. New York Gay Pride supports you and all your endeavors. Keep up the great work. Happy Pride. This is Jessica Person. I am a comedian, actress, producer, fitness instructor, line cook, barber. Hold on, there's a bird. Shut up! Wow. Well, I'm sorry, we're making a video. It work. No, it's not listening. Just like, just Little like brat. everyone in my life, except for you. This is my daughter, Zoe. Say hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. No, say hi. Hi. It's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. We're so excited to be a part of it. Being from New Jersey, being from New Jersey, I just want to say it's really an honor, seriously. Can you not? I know. It's like, do they know who we are? These birds are nothing. They're little specks. I know. Little we're specks we're, of we're germs. so important. So we just wanted to say happy Pride. We're so excited about this month. 
How do you feel about pride, Zoe? I think pride is very important and very necessary, and I love that we get an entire month to celebrate and embrace who we are, Aww. and I think it's great, and I love pride. Well, I love you, and I'm so excited to be doing this with you, and we just want to say, celebrate yourself. We love you for who you are. It's it's all going to be okay. There's a lot going on, and it's going to be okay. From every breakdown, there's a breakthrough. And I think something just bit me in my leg, underneath my leg. Something, I have a horrible singing sensation. So I'm not kidding, something just bit me. <laughs> yes, yeah, really hurts. Nice. So. Uh, let's say goodbye. I, I'll, Bye. We'll go get cream or something. Bye. Happy Pride. Happy let's sing Pride. it really quick. Happy Pride. The Barbara C. Sipperstein Trailblazer Award was established last year to recognize outstanding work by individuals who have championed transgender equality and visibility. The award is named for a trailblazer in the New Jersey LGBT community, Bab Sipperstein. Babs dedicated decades of her life to activism on the behalf of the transgender community and worked tirelessly to raise visibility and awareness of issues impacting trans people. This year's recipient, Yancey Ford, embodies that spirit. Yancey made history as the first out transgender filmmaker to receive an Academy Award nomination in 2017 for his documentary, Strong Island. Strong Island was a searing, beautiful, painful tribute to Yancey's brother, William, who was killed by a white man who was never brought to justice. One of the greatest challenges for our transgender youth is the lack of visibility in the dearth of strong, positive mirrors in the media, movies, and government. As an out and proud transgender man, Yancey has provided that. He continues to give them a model of courage, for unapologetic pride, for intersecting identities, and for blazing new paths for those who will come after. Yancey, it is unfortunate that as black people, we have to lose ones, we, the ones we love unnecessarily in order to affect change in a broken system. I am in awe of your courage to show the world the racial inequities that fester in our criminal justice system but I am sorry it was through the sacrifice of your brother William and your family as a whole. With that said, I am honored to present the 2020 Barbara C. Sipperstein Trailblazer Award to Yancey Ford. Hi, North Jersey Pride. This is Yancey Ford. And thank you so much for honoring me with the Barbara Sipperstein Trailblazer Award. Everybody at North Jersey Pride, especially all the young people, I have to tell you, I can remember every single moment when I was your age, waiting for a chance to be out in the world as who I was, knowing that I was this Yancey Ford, and just hoping for a future when I could actually be my authentic self. To all of the kids, to all of the young people, at North Jersey Pride, remember, the future is yours. We are just along for the ride. And I know that we are living through difficult times, through scary times, but you are the future. And I know it only gets better. Thank you so much, North Jersey Pride, for this honor. Happy Pride, everybody. So much love. I'm so happy to be here to help celebrate North Jersey Pride with all of you. I know we can't be together in person, but we can still connect and we can still celebrate. So let's do that. Let's have a good time, okay? I hope you'll remember this tune. Have a good time. Happy Pride. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Ooh, yeah. Oh.
I just want to get loose and turn it up for you. I got the stuff that you want, the thing that you to do the honors of presenting their Vanguard Award. And what makes it even more special is that I get to present it to one of my dear friends, Wilson Cruz. Wilson has had an incredible career as an openly LGBTQ plus performer, but also as an advocate for the community, especially LGBTQ plus youth and LGBTQ plus youth of color. His groundbreaking debut on My So-Called Life as the first openly gay character on TV all the way to executive producing the new LGBTQ plus documentary, Visible. Beyond all of that, he is one of the greatest guys in the world, and I'm so thrilled to present this award to my dear friend, Wilson Cruz. Thank you so much, North Jersey Pride, for presenting me this year's North Jersey Pride Vanguard Award. I'm truly grateful and really humbled by it. But most of all, I'm truly grateful to you as an organization for moving on with pride despite the fact that we find ourselves celebrating it under difficult circumstances. But this year it's even more important to, to celebrate pride because so many people find themselves sheltered at home in homes that are less than welcoming. And so it's important for us as a community to come together and be visible for them. So whether you're a young person at home with family that's not as understanding or older and still living in the closet. Just know that this community stands for you. And North Jersey Pride, you're doing the work by being visible today. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for the, all the work that you do for LGBTQ youth and families and happy Pride. This is Scott Nevins. We interrupt this Pride stream to bring you an important message from one of today's top political voices and also one of my favorite people on the planet, Randy Rainbow. Thank you, Scott, I love you. Hey, North Jersey Pride, it's Randy Rainbow. I had to drop in and wish everyone a happy, happy Pride. I wish we could be together and with you in spirit. See you soon. In the meantime, have a happy Pride and enjoy the Pride stream. Mwah.
you can live the life you like. You can even marry Harry, but mess around with Ike. And that's good. <laughs> Isn't it grand? Isn't it great? Isn't it swell? Isn't it fun? Isn't it? But nothing stays in 50 years or so. It's gonna change, you know. This is Rabel and it brings me so much joy to, on behalf of the North Jersey Pride Board of Directors, present Kesha with the 2020 Outstanding Ally Award. Um, Kesha, you have changed my life um, yeah, and you have changed so many people's lives and I, and I hope you really know that. Um, the way that you love and lead by example. Um, your love and support for the LGBTQ community is, there's nothing like it. Um, from getting to play with you at, at your shows, to going on the road uh, together, to going on the cruise, to just walking down the street, um, the celebration um, for everyone, no matter who we are, um, is beautiful and so powerful. Um, you truly are a unicorn in this world, um, and, it, and it gives me great, great joy to present you with this award. I love you, and we all love you. Hi, this is Kesha, and I am so honored to be the North Jersey Pride Ally Award recipient. I believe in continuing our fight for equality, because while we've made progress, the work is far from done. And we won't stop until all people are treated equally. No matter the color of your skin, or the country you were born in, or your sexual orientation, or how you identify, who you love, or any other reason to discriminate against someone, I don't believe in that. I believe we are all equal. And that is something that we have come a long way in this country. And for that, we should celebrate, but also realizing that now more than ever, we need to continue the fight for equality for each other, because the steps we've made forward have been because we have come together and stood with each other any human's fight for equality on this earth is my fight. 
and we will not stop until all people are seen as equal. So to all the members of the LGBTQ plus community, celebrate yourself, cele celebrate the progress, and then get fired up because we got more fights to fight. Love you guys, thank you, I appreciate it. Hello, my name is Armand Kinsey, Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer at Atlantic Health System. We're a proud 2020 premier sponsor of the North Jersey Pride Festival. And although we couldn't physically be there with you in person, we're extremely excited to sponsor this virtual home edition. Atlantic Health System remains committed to excellent care and access for all, and that includes those of our LGBTQ community. Thank you for all the work being done by North Jersey Pride. We hope you stay well, and we hope to see you soon. Enjoy the rest of the festival. I started a feeling of love Where's the supernatural gone? Guess it's only natural, but I hate to see you go Something that you want the most When you see it all up close I guess you don't know what you got till you get it on I don't want to start Something I don't ever want to give away I don't want to start all over with somebody new I want it with you I do, I do, I do I want to start Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill. 
I just wanted to say happy Pride Month. Uh, it's been a tough month. It's been a tough couple months here in New Jersey, but I think we do have a lot to celebrate, especially after that great Supreme Court decision, which was even sweeter because it was unexpected. Uh, we also have passed the Equality Act on the floor of the House of Representatives, which to date was one of the great days of my congressional career. But again, we've got to get that through the Senate. We've got to make sure that transgender rights are protected in our military. We have so much more to do, but some of these wins are giving me wind in my sails. So I'm going to keep fighting, as you know I will. Uh, I appreciate all of the advocacy and engagement that, that all of you perform. Um, and I just want to wish you happy pride. Have a great one. Hey, everybody. This is Nene Camps with Antigone Rising, and we are super excited to be performing for you guys today. We wish uh, that we were all together in the blazing sun, uh, celebrating together, uh, but if this is all we can do, then let's do it. We are super happy, we are super proud, and happy flipping pride, North Jersey. One, two, one, two three.
Hey, it's Corey Booker, and I'm so thrilled uh, to celebrate with you this virtual celebration of Pride Month with uh, the incredible North Jersey Pride community. There is so much to celebrate who we are, the truth of the diversity and the glory and the wonder of the LGBTQ community. There's so many gains that we've made in the strides towards freedom and equality. So yeah, let's celebrate. Let's embrace each other. Let's continue to strengthen the nurturing, affirming community of excellence that is the LGBTQ community globally in America and definitely in North Jersey. But I also recognize pride in this, that we also know that we have a lot of work to do to make this nation live up to its promise, that there is still anguish and wretchedness and hatred and bigotry. bigotry. There are still laws that don't protect our LGBTQ community. We still have a nation that despite the recent Supreme Court case, still you can be denied from serving on a jury or to service public accommodations in most of our states without any legal recourse. Too many of our children are still suffering through bullying and violence with about 30% of LGBTQ kids missing school because of fear for their safety. And the recent violence we've seen against black trans Americans shows us that we still have so much work to do to establish equal rights and equal dignity from having a justice department that will protect trans Americans to even having a president that doesn't block our heroes from serving in the military. Yes, today is a day to celebrate our pride, to elevate and exalt the truth of who we all are but I tell you, it's also a time to redetermine and double our efforts in the cause of freedom. We are all interwoven in the same fabric of destiny. Injustice anywhere is indeed threat to justice everywhere. We all together, allies, LGBTQ communities, our leaders, all of us must continue the march towards justice and freedom and love. Thank you.
All right, we've come to the end of the show. Almost, we have one more amazing performance. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us for North Jersey Pride Stream. I hope you liked it. We wanted to make sure that you had a place to celebrate, to feel included as part of the community, and to feel the love and acceptance that you feel every year at North Jersey Pride in the park. Every year on stage, I always say that North Jersey Pride is an amazing example of what this entire country could be. And I still believe that. And it has been my honor to co-produce and host this event. And I look forward to next year where hopefully I can see you in person and we can celebrate all over again with all of that humidity. <laughs> but until then, I'm Scott Nevins. I wish you a happy Pride. And I send you off with this brilliant performance from our friends at Range. One and a, one and a, one up, one and a, one and a, one